guys welcome back so today is easter so happy easter to everyone who celebrates um i was going to do a quick haul video because i am um uh, we're not we don't have family over but it's easter and i'm cooking uh, my daughter's actually outside with my husband they're playing in the yard with our neighbors uh but i want to spend time with them so I wanted to do a quick video, but I also want to, my lips are super dry, I'm like, is there anything, um, but I still wanted to get this bronzer video done, so I think I am just going to hurry up and do it, because I think it's going to be a quick one, because I do have a lot of bronzers, but I don't think I'm going to be able to declutter a lot of them, only because, um, like the powdery stuff for me isn't like stuff that I worry about too much about like breaking me out. It's more like the liquidy products like concealer and foundation and like the skincare stuff. So I just quickly opened my drawer and I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get rid of too many. So I'm just going to go ahead and film it for you guys. I'm going to show you guys what the drawer looks like just so you guys can see how it was organized. And then I'm going to pull the stuff out. So that's how I have it organized. Um, I have stuff sitting on top because I started getting too much and it's too full. I just have these two little white trays there. I do have another organizer here that was holding all of those. And then towards the back I have little trays. So I'm just going to start pulling this stuff out. Okay, so... I'm going to pull this little white container out first and we'll just go through them I have these two elf um, contour and bronzer palettes so this one is the contour palette and it just says assorted and it looks like this this is really old it has a really nice clear mirror on it and then this one says bronzer palette and then the shade on this one is Bronze Beauty. And it looks like this. Um, honestly, these bronzer pans are very small. I do like to use when I do bronze, like a really fluffy brush. And I like like a whole pan type of situation. So I don't really use these. You know what these would be good for though? These would be good as like with an eyeshadow brush and to put it as like your um base color um it's good for those but these are really old and they're not something that i'm like oh my gosh i need to keep these so i think i will declutter these two so that makes me happy i'm already off to a good start because i said i was probably not going to declutter anything guys i forgot to take out the garbage from the last time and it's super full um i'm gonna sit them on top hopefully i don't break that bag Okay, next I have this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette, and it looks like this. This was one of those items that was super viral. Um, I think it had a name. Oh, Dulce de Leche, and this was super, super viral at one point. I went crazy trying to find it, and you know what? Didn't hardly even use it, so... Um, this is like the color if you guys can see sorry i was eating hot chips my fingers red that's like the color i mean it's not like something that i'm like oh gotta keep i'm gonna get rid of that one too um this one dusty girl farmed by magoo i got this um sent to me by a brand on instagram it's in the shade sunshine i remember loving this um uh, when i got it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a really good bronzer. Look at how crazy the two different colors are. The one I just swatched is on the left, the more orangey one. Um, but yeah, I remember I was like obsessed and I loved this so much. But I am going to get rid of it because I've had it for so long. It does have a, a four years um, is expiration date. If you guys can see, it says 48M. It's four years, but I've had it for like 10. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. It wasn't like 10, but it feels like it. Um, this one I'm going to keep. Um, this is by Urban Decay. It's their Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. I might have another one somewhere because I think... Oh, it's right next to it. 
Um, they have two shades, so I'm going to keep them both, but this is what it looks like as a mirror. And then the other one is Beach Bronze Sunkissed. So Sunkissed, and that one is bronzed. And this is what the Sunkissed one is lighter. So I'm going to keep these. I love these Urban Decay uh, bronzers. Then I have one by BH Cosmetics. Um, it's their Satin Bronzer in Tranquil, Tranquil Tan. And it looks like that. And I'm going to let this one go. I've had it for a long time and it looks kind of sus. I think it's just like the texture on it, but... This is a really nice one. It really is like a satiny bronzer. You can like see it when you're like swirling your hand around in it. Like it's not matte. It's like a satin finish. It's really nice. Um, but yeah, I've had it for a long time. I'll get rid of it. This is the... Oh, I, I don't know if I want to get rid of this. Where's the other one? This is the Bomb Cosmetics, the Berry Lou Manimizer manizer bronzer and it looks like this the bomb cosmetics had really really good products and whoa this one's like um like a highlight bronzer if you guys can see that that is so pretty it's like right there at the very bottom i'm gonna i'm gonna hold on to that one for now then I have this cushion bronzer from Sephora. This was really good too, um, but I am probably going to get rid of this because I've had it for a long time. It has like a little sponge inside. If I can open it. So it looks like this. It has a little sponge and then it comes with this. And then you just like dab it in there and you can bronze with it. But like I said, I've had it for a long time. It was a good product. But time to say goodbye. Uh, then I have these two little mini ones. I have a Ciate London bronzer. Um, this one I think probably came in one of the older boxy charms. And I loved it. I used it a lot. I remember I used this one for sure as an eyeshadow, um, like a crease color, all, all the time. Because it was just easy to take with because it was so tiny. Um, but I'm going to let it go. Like, I seriously have so many eyeshadow palettes. Why am I using bronzers? But it's because they're like the perfect shade for that. And then I have this Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in medium 2. And same thing, I use this one as an eyeshadow, but I'm going to let it go. I have this cute little Too Faced brush in here that doesn't belong. What is this? Oh, how do you open it? <laughs> this is a bronzer by Joy, Joy Cosmetics, and I don't remember where I bought it from, if I bought it or if it was in a boxy or anything but it says right there bronzer it opens up and it looks like that and it does have a mirror too I'm going to let it go I'm also going to let this one go but I remember really liking this when I got this one years and years ago from that influencer platform I used to um, work with this one is by Adun Minerals and the packaging was super pretty. And that's the color and number. And it looked like this. You guys can see I used it a lot. But yeah, this was a really nice natural um, bronzer. It's like mineral bronzer. And then the last one that's in this little container is this a cosmetics live love laugh vitality face disc it looks like that and this one looks used and abused 
So it was like a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush all together. I was going to say I was going to keep it, but it looks a little beat up, so I'm just going to let it go. Look at me talking about I'm not going to declutter any, and I already got rid of like 10. Go, Evita. So now that my hands are a complete mess. By the way, it is not summertime, um, but yes, I'm wearing a little dress only because it's Easter, like I said, and Aria has on this cute pink and white gingham print little um, springtime dress, and she has a cute white bow on her hair, and we were taking little pictures, so I was like, what do I have that's pink and white that'll match her, so I just found this little maxi dress, and I just threw it on. And then we went in the yard and she looked for her eggs that the Easter Bunny left. And she found them all. It isn't summer, summer, but it is actually a nice day here today. It's like 60, so it's not too bad. So it was cute. She was walking around with her little Easter basket hunting for eggs. And that was fun. And when she found them all, she wanted more. <laughs> all right, so... This basket is done, and I have these three, the two Urban Decay and the bomb one that I still have. I'm just going to sit it right here. Oh, I pulled these two out. These two were on top of the, the stuff. This one I'm keeping. This one is very new. I just got this um, when Jacqueline announced that she was uh, closing Jacqueline Cosmetics. I got it from Ulta. It's um actually a bronzer and a blush. I got a cut on my finger, and that white burned it. Um, it's a blush and a bronzer, and it looks like that. My blush drawer was way too full, so I put it in the bronzer drawer. And then I have this that one of my friends got, um, sent me in, like, her PR. She's a smaller business on Instagram. I don't know if she still sells these, but I love the packaging, the beautiful pearls. I used to display this on my vanity and everyone would ask what it was it's actually a uh, eyeshadow palette i believe yeah it is but i just have it in here so of course i'm not getting rid of getting rid of this why can't i talk i'm gonna set that in there for now and then i'm gonna start pulling some of these out that are just laying on top before i get to the other um organizers so i have this Too Faced bronzer sun puppy edition and this was limited edition. I'm not getting rid of this. Look how pretty he is. And it does have a mirror as well. I love this bronzer and I love the packaging. Next, I have these two Wet n Wild bronzers. These are the ColorCon bronzers. I have Queensland and Your Dragon Me Down. These are from the Game of Thrones um, collaboration. That they did so I'm keeping both of these they have a little dragon on them and you can see I did use it and here's the other one so I am gonna keep both of these those are limited edition so I don't think they have those but they still have wet and wow bronzers obviously I have the Fenty Beauty um, private island sun stalked instant warmth bronzer the shade is private island and it looks like this and you can see around the white edges that it was used a lot i'm gonna keep it i have this bronze essentials beauty butte basics little um, bronzer. I got this in a older boxy charm, and it looks like this. And I just really like the way that it has like bronzers and like the highlight in it, and it has a mirror. I am gonna hold on to this for a little longer. Okay, so next I have this Alexis Ren and ColourPop collection, um, like collaboration. This is a really good one, and I'm going to probably keep this. It has a bronzer and a highlight inside of it. You can see from the bronzer, it was really good. This is a really, really pretty bronzer shade, and this was recommended. I can't remember what YouTuber. Uh, 
love this and I purchased it because of them and I was like oh yeah they're right it's a really good one so I'm keeping that it's a limited edition um, collection that came out years ago so you won't be able to find that one um, I have these two Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzers I'm keeping both of these I have saddle which is my favorite and then I have rich amber and they look like this they probably still make these and this one is the rich amber keep those then I have this soul body um, medium face and body bronzing balm so this is supposed to be like the um, Chanel um, I forget what it's called but like the big Chanel body bronzer and this is by soul beauty which is like ColourPop sister brand so it just looks like this and you can just take your brush in there and it's basically like a cream bronzer so you can use it on your face it's like cream contour cream bronze put it on your body wherever you want and I'm gonna keep this because the Chanel ones are very expensive I do have it um, and I haven't used it hardly but I'm gonna keep both of those okay let me find it so I can show you. So it's called Soleil Tan de Chanel. You guys can see like the size difference to the Chanel ones bigger. And it does have this thing on here. You have to keep these on there to keep it nice and creamy. So that's what it looks like. I'm going to keep this. I just wanted to put my hand in there to make sure it's still. This one's like a more moussey, I feel like, consistency. Okay, I'm pulling out the next little tray. I have the NARS Laguna bronzer, which I'm going to keep. So it looks like this. And it has a little paper on it, so that's what it looks like. I've used this one a lot. I can tell it looks a little weird in the camera. Um, I have this Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in Light. And I'm going to keep this one too. Look at how beautiful that pattern is. So this one has like almost like blush in it, if you will. And it just looks really beautiful and natural on the skin. So I'm definitely keeping this one. The, it says natural warm number three is the shade then I have this Givenchy bronzer this is a number two and it looks like this and I'm going to keep this one as well I think I'm keeping this whole tray honestly um, then I have this Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in Bronze Number no. 3 by Laura Mercier. And I love Laura Mercier's products. And it looks like this. So this is like the baked bronzer. And then these are two of my Too Faced uh, Limited Edition. No longer make these. Never getting rid of these. Um, these are the Soulmates Bronzers. This one is Carrie and Big. And Ross and Rachel, they're like friends from the show Friends and Sex in the City. Carrie and Big is the Sex in the City, and that one has a more coral blush. And then this one has a more pinky one. This is Ross and Rachel from Friends, and that one's more pink. So I love these. And if you guys have like the the like bront um. Too Faced blushes. These compacts are bigger than those. Let me see if I have one in my drawer. So if you guys have these, it's like a, a way bigger compact. So I love these. Never getting rid of them. And then I have two more limited editions that I'm never getting rid of. These are the Wonder Woman um, bronzers. That was a limited edition with MAC. And they're huge. And this one is in Golden Lariat. Lariat. 
and it's a mineral so it looks like the other one like baked and I love it because it like has like highlight bronzer and blush and I like it because you can just swirl around the whole product and get this beautiful super pretty uh, color it's so pretty and then the other one I have is in pink power this one is um, it came out of the, the thing like it's not glued to the bottom anymore but it's hard to tilt it but this is what this one looks like so yeah I don't think I got rid of any in this one did I We got that one done. Okay. Next, we're not getting rid of any in this one either. This little tray, if you guys can see, it's all Too Faced. And I'm not getting rid of any of those, but I will show you guys the ones that I have. So I have these. This one is the Soleil, the Chocolate Soleil. The chocolate gold soleil and then another chocolate soleil uh, because I think they sent me one one's matte let's see if the other one says matte on it too yeah they do so one I had and then one they sent me for the chocolate soleil and then this one was the from the when they came out with the chocolate gold palette collection and this one is like you can see I don't know if you guys will be able to see but it's more like a it has like a more shimmer shimmer bronzer in it do let me wet now alright so those are kind of newer and then these are like the older packaging these are all from their old packaging and this one is called Endless Summer Snow Bunny and Pink Leopard. Love all of these. Not getting rid of them. Look at how pretty the Pink Leopard one is. Like that is so pretty. And Snow Bunny is too. That's Snow Bunny. And then this one is just Endless Summer. This one I don't think has a pattern on it. And then the last one that's in this organizer. Oh no, there's two actually. This is the Candlelight Glow um, Highlighting Powder Duo in Rosy Glow. Looks like this. This is actually this is also their older um, packaging. Ow. And this isn't a bronzer. I just have it in here because it goes with all this like Too Faced stuff. And then I have this one. From their older packaging too. This is the Primed and Poreless. Also not a bronzer. Um, looks like that. And I think it has. Yeah, it has a little poof under there. To just like prime and press. On your pores. So we're not getting rid of any in there. Sorry. And taking out the next organizer. And I know I'm not getting rid of any of my Butter Bronzers by Physicians Formula. These are my favorite. I love Physician Formula Bronzers. So, I have Sunkissed and the original. Um, this is the light bronzer and then this one says Sunkissed. can see and then these if you guys don't know how this these are packaged but they come with this little the mirror is underneath and it comes with this little brush applicator thing I don't really use it so I got those two and down here in my drawer not in an organizer these are newer physician formula um, products that they send so they like change the butter bronzer packaging this one says light bronzer and 
this one also says light bronzer so if you see they just changed the packaging on it now but I'm going to keep them both um, I wonder if it is indeed the same color just changed I don't know but I'm going to keep them both and then they sent over these uh, butter glow pressed powders um, translucent and natural glow that I have in here too also newer products by them um, but back to this organizer so those are the two I'm keeping and we still have these so I have this number seven golden sand and I think I got this at CVS or Walgreens the number seven brand I'm gonna let this one go just because I feel like I haven't said that in a, in a few minutes so my garbage can is starting to fall over um next i have this art deco uh, bronzer and it looks like this and you push it and then it looks like that and there's a brush under it or poof i'm gonna let that one go then i had the it cosmetics bye bye pores bronzer and it looks like this and it has the same I'm gonna keep this one next I have this um, Mac cosmetics bronzer this is the give me Sun and it's a baked bronzer and I'm gonna keep this one also well that almost fell I have this one by um, Mark, this was a brand inside of Avon, um, and this was in Maui Bliss Sunset Glow. I never used it. I bought it because it's just super pretty, and it is one of those, though, see, I knew it. Cause I'm going to declutter it, so that's why I did it. As soon as I put my hand over it, it looks like that. It, like, is, has, like, a watermark on it, but look at how pretty that really is, though. That's a really shimmery bronzer. Now it's making me like, do you want to get rid of it? Do you? Do you want to get rid of that? Let's hold on to that for a second. I feel like I, oh, there it is. I was like, I know I had another wet nap. These are both dry now. Um, and then the last one in this organizer is by Becca. This is the Capri Coast. I'm going to keep this. I love everything by Becca. And it looks like that. That's the packaging. So I got rid of the two in here. So I'm going to see. I'm going to put these um, physicians in here now. That I made a little bit of room. So the three of those fit right here. But I have to take this one out. And it doesn't fit. I'm going to get rid of this one. The Mark one. Now they fit. Alright. So next I have these three super large ones. These are all by LA uh, Girl. And they sent me these all in PR. They sent me all the shades. I have Back to the Beach. Sunset Glow and Lost in Paradise. And they're all matte bronzers. Um, this one has like the two tones going on here. And this one. And this one. This one's a little bit darker. And I'm just going to keep all of these. And stick them on the side. Oh, and I also pulled this out. This is the Natasha Denona Glow. All over glow face and body shimmer powder. And it looks like that. And 
it also has like I keep saying like shimmer but you guys know what I mean it like it's more luminous it's not matte sorry guys I gotta reach for another white because I have this stuff all over me also do you guys hear me I'm better I forgot to address that but obviously you guys can see um I don't I didn't go to the doctor or anything I didn't really take medicine while I was sick either I just let it run its course it was just a little cold I knew it was just a cold um but yeah I'm feeling way better now okay next I have this little palette by Ofra it says mini palette and I got this in a boxy charm and I love the shades in here so it looks like this and they put some of their best sellers in here so you have um, San Fran Rodale Drive and Pacifica so you have two bronzers and a highlight and I actually have that Rodeo Drive highlight in a full size. But I thought this little palette was really cute. So I'm going to keep that. Even though I don't like little bronzer pans like that. But I'm going to keep it because I love Oprah. And guys, this is the last little container that's in the drawer. Um, so I have this by the bomb. It's called Bahama Mama. If you guys know, you know, this was so popular back in the day. And it just like slides out of this little container. And that's what it looks like. I am going to let this one go. Behind my mama. And then I have, these are in here tight. I have another It Cosmetics. Did I get rid of the other one? I did, didn't I? Oh, you know what? Down underneath, I have an itty bitty baby Bahama Mama. Let me just show you guys the little size comparisons. So I'm going to get rid of that one too. I'm telling you guys, that was a really good bronzer. But before I get to this It Cosmetics, let's do these because I think I'm going to get rid of all of these. These are by Per Pure Cosmetics. And they sent me all of these. I have Bronzing Act, Afterglow, and Mineral Glow. And that one is like a highlighter. Yeah, Afterglow Highlighter, Mineral Glow is the Illuminating Bronzer. And then the Bronzing Act is the Matte Bronzer. So, I'm just going to let all of these go. I'm just going to toss them on the floor because my garbage is overflowing. Um, then I have this Revolution Beauty Ultra Bronze. Um, and it just says Ultra Bronze. My top, my little lid thing fell off of this. So, that's a sign that I should let this go. Guys, I forgot to mention too. Well, it just came to me. Um, I have bronzers in other places. We're just gonna do this drawer right now. Um, and then when I do certain other areas of my room, we'll go through those. Like for instance, that area that I keep talking about, and I am gonna look in this little organizer that's up here, but I know I have other bronzers. That aren't in this drawer because I'm thinking of specific ones and I don't know where they are. So when I come across them, we'll declutter them or keep them. Um, next, I have this It Cosmetics Ombre Ro Radiance Bronzer. And it looks like this. And it's called Ombre Radiance. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but it is like a gradient. Like it's lighter at the top and it goes to a darker color. Um, this is a warm radiance. I'm going to let this one go. It not like screaming out to me 
Next, I have another super popular viral back in the day, Wet n Well Color Con Bronzers. This one just says bronzer and blush. If you guys know about it, then you know how crazy everyone was going over this one. Love the pattern. Pattern? Pattern. I did not say that correctly. Okay, I'm going to let this one go too. And then I have this huge one by Doll 10. This is the Micro Pixel Bronzer. And I use this one so much. Um, but I'm going to let it go ahead. It's such a huge mirror. And then these two I'm probably going to keep. But I got to open them and check. These are by Kiko Cosmetics. And they make such good products. This is the packaging. It is a little bulky though. Um, this is their Desert Dunes Baked Bronzer in number 200 Warm Melange. Melange. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep that. So that's what it looks like. And like I said, it is a baked bronzer. And then this one is... A bronzer and highlighter 2-in-1 in the shade number 2 rose tan. So that's the packaging. I love Kiko Cosmetics. I just sometimes I don't like the packaging. And this one looks like that. And so this is the bronzer. And then this is supposed to be like a little pinky highlight. I was going to say that is a very chalky but when I put it on it doesn't look like that very powdery okay so for now I'm going to hold on to both of those so I'm going to put some of these other ones back in here that I said I was keeping so like this Chanel one um, I'll probably put the little soul one next to it since they kind of go together and then I have these two ABH ones oh that fit perfect so I'll put those in there and let me squeeze these back in the drawer and then we'll look in the other organizer up there. So what do you guys have planned? Are you guys doing anything for Easter? Do you guys have family over? Do you guys go to church? Let me know. And how's the weather by you guys? I cannot wait for the summer all right the drawer looks a lot better i will say that i have a lot of space like the organizer just went all the way to the back do i oh i have one more i was gonna say why is that going all the way to the back i think i had these turned i can't remember that fast i can't remember Right, guys so off camera I went through my drawer um, because it was just to save a little bit more time and I found I found this one and then over on the floor that I said I wasn't gonna go through right now but I I wanted to because I want to find all my bronzers and just put them back in the drawer um, I have like three baskets on the floor of newer makeup and just stuff that I can't fit into drawers anymore and that's the reason I'm decluttering because I want to fit everything that's in those baskets put away so I found these three so let me just show you guys I'm not gonna declutter any of these um but this one was up there and then this no this one was up there this one was in one of the baskets so these are both Marc Jacobs I actually have like five or six Marc Jacobs little um, skinny palettes like this but the other ones are all highlighters but these two say they're bronzers this is a trio this one's the Omega bronze I love this one this is in Tantastic and the little packaging you just press the little button and it opens and they have huge mirrors in them and that's what it looks like and it has this little Marc Jacobs little thing on the top to keep the mirror clean and then this one um, this is what the packaging looks like on this one. Like a little coffee moment. 
This one's called Tantastic Glow Omega 3. This one has a blush, highlight, and a bronzer in it. And mirror. Oh, the little sleeve fell. But that's what this one looks like. So, I am keeping both of those. And then Morphe actually came out with a one that was supposed to be like a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Tantastic. This one is an icon. And this one Jacqueline Hill raved about and literally made everyone in the world go on a hunt for this one. It was sold out so much. Um, but I finally got my hands on it. Uh, and that's what it looks like. And I will say it is a very similar shade to the Marc Jacobs. So, keeping those. And then this also, um, Butter, Butter Bronzer sent me this. Physicians Formula sent me this when they sent the other uh, palettes over. This is the Butter Bronzer Contour Palette. So, it's basically all those in a little palette. And... You're supposed to um, highlight, bronze, and contour. So, I'm going to keep that. Yeah, so I'm going to put these back in and I will show you guys what the drawer looks like. I like it because everything's in here now and stuff's not sitting on top where I can't see the organizers. Um, so, yeah, let me show you guys. So, that's what it looks like now. I have this organizer and that one. And then I just set these in here because they're not in an organizer. And I have that little one. And then that one. And there's one more back there. But yeah, we'll probably do a reorganizing video after I'm done decluttering everything. And then I have that little thing there. And then these were the LA Girl ones. So yeah, the drawer looks better before. If you guys remember, I had stuff like on top because... It was nowhere to put them. So I like this better. And before I let you guys go, I wanted to show you guys um, how my Crocs turned out. Remember I got the um, beige Crocs and I bought the pink charms from Temu. This is what they look like. Aren't these so freaking cute? I was like, I can't believe how cute they came out. And I can't, I'm going to wear these like every day. Every day. Because they're just the cutest, curliest, most coquette Crocs ever. And I just love them. And I wanted to share with you guys. I um, just filmed a reel, but I haven't posted it yet. It's in my drafts of me um, unboxing the Crocs and then putting on the charm. So, just wanted to share you guys. Share you guys. I'm done. I'm going to go now and eat some Easter dinner. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter and I will see you guys on the next video.